to Atlanta, hammers and bows, back to the Mac and then the clothes, adolescents packing a f a knock on the door. Who is it? The APL is home to some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry, including choreographer Ms. Kiki Eli. This story is unscripted and unrehearsed. This is Kiki Alive's Dance Grind. Hola. Hi, everybody. My name is Kiara Eli. Um, everybody knows me as Kiki. If you don't know me as Kiki, then I don't understand. Um, I'm from ATL, Georgia, born and raised my entire life. Yeah. Uh, I went to Southwest DeKalb High School. I graduated, went to Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Shout out to the Human Jukebox. I was a dancing doll for four years. Pledged Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Ooh. And I graduated from college, moved back to Georgia. Was here for two years, and I like I danced with the Hawks. I taught um, my old former uh, high school dance team. And while here, I had the opportunity to be one of the choreographers for Drumline, 20th Century Fox movie they filmed here in Atlanta because we have like the best band at my old high school. Shout out to all the Decatur school alumni of Southwest Camp. And after that, I moved to LA. Um, there I lived for eight, close to nine years. Um, dancing and that honestly was one of the best choices experiences of my life um, I have to say that I'm so thankful that I did that when I auditioned for Christina Aguilera's um, the first her video and it was like 300 girls and out of 300 people myself and two other people were selected but you had people that were already a part of her family and crew that just you know they're they're back there's no they don't have to audition so for me to get that i was like yes. i know but i'm just saying i'm saying out of it was like thousands of people there yeah but but you got called back twice come on you remember no it was only once i only got called back once well, I know it was one call back okay so, so i how went twice so how many were I know there were so many people crying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just went out there just to go. I didn't even, I had no expectations at all. I was like, this was the obvious. But it was so different. It, it, was it, was ironic that, it was ironic that you stayed right around the corner, almost around the corner. Not around yeah. the corner, but close I ended somewhere. up moving, when I moved there, I ended up moving literally yeah. around the corner from where from the, the audition was. Yeah, yeah. So, where the millennium was. It was like, I was going to come back. I know. So that was, yeah, that was kind of trippy. I worked at Skechers and <laughs> at Universal Studios selling shoes, like sneakers. Like my whole family, we all got, we all had Skechers. All my friends, and it was like not saying the worst job, but it was not what I wanted to do. I did not want to be there, and like it was, it was you know a little difficult because I was trying to like really work as a dancer, but I you know still had to pay bills, so. Um, I would probably say that that was like the worst, not the worst job, but like that was the job that I did not want to be doing anymore. After moving back to Atlanta, Kiki begins to work immediately. Choreographing music videos, award shows, teaching hip hop classes at several studios in Atlanta, and choreographing for artists. Let me see. So, boom, 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 yeah. Um, and Charlize is a new artist on Division One label. Shout out to Rico Love. He's like the mega hitman of Usher, of like all these many, many artists. Um, you've definitely heard his records. She's signed to Universal and she's going to be coming out uh, really, really soon. So we're kind of prepping her. We're like an artist development type of thing. Uh, getting her whole image together, dancing, her singing. She has an amazing, incredible voice that you are definitely going to recognize and love. Her first, so right now she's working on, we'll have two songs that we kind of like are prepping for her. And she's, um, she's going to be great. She is in the beginning stages as far as dance ability. Um, 
learning how to move differently. Like she can mm -hmm. dance, but nobody's ever really like taught her like the structure mm -hmm. of dance. So While in rehearsal with Charlize, she sustained an injury and immediately seek professional care putting rehearsal at a standstill. Um, I think she dislocated her shoulder, so he's about to try to do some stuff now. Just bend the arm up. Okay. Move his hand down. Both arms down. And you're going to have to step behind that wall in a second. Okay. Um, I think it's just been a combination of her training with her trainer, like working out with the weights and you know, stuff like that and dancing. Um, spent a lot on her body. Uh, so, you know, rather now than later, um, that she gets checked out, gets well, gets her body in shape 100% so that she's able to perform, sing, dance, um, and do everything where she's healthy, uh, no injuries. So, you know, might be a blessing in disguise that this is happening now. But let it be known that it's not my fault. <laughs> I don't want y'all thinking I was doing this to her. <laughs> I love her. I want her to be great. I would never hurt her. So Still practicing. Slinging all. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Okay. So Kiki is doing the choreography for my single, Love You Right? And it looks like she has me wiping up the floor with my booty. Mm. It was a time where I didn't, I was like auditioning, auditioning, like, like killing, like I felt killing auditions, but just was not booking jobs. And I feel like everybody around me was like, oh, I just got booked, I'm doing this, you know, and I'm happy for them, but in the same time, like inside, I'm like dying. And I remember being in um, a class uh, and I just ran out the studio and like literally broke down in the hallway because it had just got to that point, I guess me in my head, like, I can't, like, I can't do this no more. Like, I'm not, it's not working, it's not happening. I don't know what to do, what it is. Everybody says I'm dope, I'm dope, I'm dope, but uh, I'm not getting them jobs. Like, I don't, and then, you know, of course I have people around me that are supportive and like they're talking to me like it's gonna happen. Just, you know, people like Chuck, like he was one of the main people in my life that kind of like instilled the patience and just the like perseverance, like just stay, it's, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> and it did, it did, but. It was rough, like, yeah, I, I had some breakdown moments, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think uh, this is the room where I think at night, when we heard Pat Pat a little feet. We didn't know it at the time, but uh, my daughter was getting ready and preparing to be what she is today. So, this is the room. That uh, she uh, she had she said dream big now and I think this is where it started. My dance grind is my dream. I would have to say, and I say my dream. I just think of like what I really want, how I want to pursue it, my career. Um, I just want to get so many people that have like made the path and like I see what's been done and I feel like I have so much to accomplish or to aspire to. So my dream is to connect with dancers, to like continue to um, uplift whatever I can through dance. So whether it be me giving advice to someone I think, you know, oh you can do this, do that, blah, 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 you know, like that's a way of me connecting with dancers. And those little things, you know, really, really mean a lot to some people. And to take the time I do that, I really, you know, I aspire to do that and more. Um, but my dream is definitely to, like, continue to create, to um, reach different levels of choreography with artists. Um, 
<laughs> Speaking of what artist is Charlize? <laughs> Cross the back now. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's Ivy. And I think about other artists and other choreographers who've like made the past. Like you got the Jamaica to your Sierra, you got Curtis mm-hmm. Neal, you got Richard Tone to Chris, you got us. Like I mean, you have all these realms of artists and choreographers that have like stamped themselves in the music industry and I am inspiring to be like, one of those. That's my grind. That's why I get up every day. I'm up in here every day. <laughs> every day. When I say every day, like every day. I'm teaching, I'm choreographing, I'm tired, but I know that I can't come to class slacking because they are expecting something great from me because I want to be great. I want them to be great. So I'm not going to come in here and just teach them anything. So if I got to stay up at 3 o'clock in the morning and make up a routine, I'm going to do it because I know how important it is. That's, that's my grind. That's you know, I'm here in Atlanta. It's like everybody's hungry. Everybody wants it. Okay. All right. Turned up, all I need is a fan base and maybe some groupie love.